Good morning dear students let us take a look at this question from JE advanced 2020 this question is from the EMI chapter let us first analyze the question a light disc made of aluminum a non magnetic material is kept horizontally so we can see here that there is this disc which is kept horizontally and this disc here is made of aluminum it is free to rotate about its axis as shown in the figure so this disc here is free to rotate about this axis a strong magnet is held vertically at a point above the disc away from its axis so there is a magnet here which is held vertically like this and it is held away from the axis of this disc on revolving the magnet about the axis of the disc the disc will so now this magnet is rotated about this axis so let us have a look so this magnet is rotated about this axis here okay and the option he is asking is the disc will so this disc what will happen if we rotate this magnet about this axis so option a is rotate in the direction opposite to the direction of the magnet's motion so the magnet is rotating in this direction he is saying the disc would rotate in this direction so that is the first option the second option rotate in the same direction as that of the direction of the magnet's motion so he is saying that it would rotate in this direction that is the second option not rotate and its temperature will remain unchanged so this disc will be stationary and uh, its temperature is also constant that is the third option the fourth option not rotate but its temperature will slowly rise so this is not rotating but its temperature will slowly rise so these are the four options let us analyze what would happen here and uh, choose the correct option we have the aluminum disc here and uh, this is the magnet the disc is initially at rest let us move along with the magnet and analyze what happens we will be moving along with this magnet it might seem to you that this disc is rotating but actually this disc is not rotating as we are moving with the magnet this disc seems to be rotating the reason why we are moving with the magnet is it will be easy for us to visualize what is happening here now consider this region of the aluminum disc these red spheres that you see here okay the red spheres that you see here are the charge carriers the movement of these spheres will signify the direction of current now consider this area of the aluminum disc initially when the magnet was here okay initially when the magnet was here the there was some magnetic flux through this disc and after the magnet has moved forward after the magnet has moved forward the flux through this area has changed or the flux through this area has decreased and from lenz law we can say that the direction of this induced current will be clockwise okay and for this region we can say that it will be anti clockwise so this clockwise current which is there here will produce the same effect as if if there is a magnetic north pole here and magnetic south pole here and this loop here will produce the same effect such that there is a magnetic south pole here and a magnetic north pole down so let us replace these loops by magnets so that it will be much easier for us to understand the interaction between these current loops and the magnet now as this acts as a north pole this magnet pole and this will ripple so there will be a force in this part of the aluminum disc in this direction and as this is north pole and uh, this is a south pole there will be attraction towards the north pole so on the aluminum disc there is a force in this direction here and in this direction here and these two forces add up and the aluminum disc starts rotating 
in the direction of the magnet. So I'll play the schematic again and you can have a look at the schematic from the start. Now we have looked at this in the frame of the magnet. So there might be a little confusion that this disc is rotating. Let me show you the schematic in frame of ground so that it is easy for you to comprehend it. So let us have a look at this from ground frame of reference. So you can observe here that the disc is rotating in the same direction as that of the magnet. Also notice one more thing, the disc is not going with the same speed as that of the magnet. See it is going much slower than the magnet. I want you to analyze that also why. So the correct option here would be rotate in the same direction as the direction of magnet's motion. As there is induced current, so there will also be a rise in temperature. But option D is wrong as he said that it will not rotate. Let us understand some practical applications of this concept. So the practical application of this concept is braking system in bullet trains. So you can see here the wheels of the bullet train and this here is a non-magnetic conductor. And this that you see here is a powerful electromagnet. Now let us say that the train is going at very high speed and we want to brake. So this is rotating very fast and this electromagnet here is switched on. When it is switched on there is a magnetic field here. Due to Lenz law we can say many current loops will be formed here and these will interact with the electromagnet and that will help slow down the train wheels. This is also called as eddy current braking system. In eddy current braking system, we see that as there is current which is formed in this material, there is a energy loss due to heat. So now in the bullet trains, they have switched over to regenerative braking, wherein the kinetic energy of the train is converted or stored to something useful. So the new system that is used right now is regenerative braking in bullet trains. So I hope you have got a good understanding of this question from JE Advanced. So I will stop here and we'll meet again in the next video.